Okay, Goosey, are you ready to jump back on that question horse and ride into the answer sunset? I think so. Okay, let's get stuck in with a video question from Elijah. Hello, good games, spawn point. Um, I have a question for you. If you do not answer, I will make you all drink out of the noob cup. Can one? Qu my first question will be: Will there be a Star Wars Rebels game coming out soon this year, or will there be any Star Wars games coming out soon? Oh, thanks, Elijah. Ugh, even the mere mention of the noob cup sends shivers down my spine. I can still taste that mustard custard essence lingering in my mouth. Oh, uh, yeah, thanks, Elijah. What? In answer to your first question, we haven't heard any plans specifically for more Star Wars Rebels games anytime soon. There were a few online and mobile Rebels games released a while ago, one of the more recent of these being Recon Missions, which was discontinued, apparently due to developer constraints. So it's hard to say whether there'll be any more like them. Mm, as for whether there'll be any new Star Wars games in general coming soon, well, there is the mobile strategy game called Star Wars Rise to Power, currently in closed pre-alpha testing for Android devices. No word yet of an official release date for this, but it's one to keep an eye out for if you use Android. Oh, and it's worth mentioning the recent re-release of Star Wars Episode One Race of PC. It's a whole lot of pod racing fun. Not a new game, but worth checking out if you've missed it. Ah, uh, yes, I have fond memories of playing that one. Other than that, Electronic Arts seem to have a few Star Wars-y things simmering away. After their Star Wars project with Visceral Games fell through last year, there's been talk of a new Star Wars open world project in development, but that might not be out for a while. Yes, and I hear EA Studios Respawn Entertainment will be releasing a game called Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order sometime in 2019. But we haven't heard many specifics about these games or what they'll be rated if and when they do come out. Oh, and there might be more LEGO Star Wars at some stage, but I haven't heard anything solid on that. And I always think it's good to wait until official confirmation before getting any hopes up. Yes, I agree. Keep those hopes at a reasonable level. Uh, in the meantime, at least you'll have the Force. The Force will be with you. Always. always. Now, moving on to a question from Tessie. Who's the creator of Geometry Dash? And do this gem. Ha! Woo! Hash. Oh! Or drink from the noob cup. Thanks, Tessie. The creator of Geometry Dash is a guy called Robert Tapala, also known as Rob Top. He's a Swedish game developer and founder of Rob Top Games. Yeah, thank you, Rob Top, for creating such a challenging game. Ah, uh, it sure was fun watching you tangle with those tricky triangles during our frustrating game stream, Goose. And even more fun reliving the discomfort on our online channel over and over and over and over again. Uh, yeah, yes, marvellous. Well, next up, we have some questions from Fez Guy, King of Doctor Who from the TARDIS in the GGSP studio. Hi, GGSP. I am a big fan. I would like some precious answers. One, how is Bardo doing in space? Two, has Darren ever met a Dalek? Three, what happens if you join Joja Mart in Stardew Valley? You might Darren for that one. Four, can you do a mini review of There Is No Game? If you don't answer, my mini Daleks will exterminate you. Thanks. Bye. P.S. Darren is superior. All hail Darren. All hail Darren. Exterminate the humans. Bye. Wow, we have a TARDIS? Um, I don't know. Maybe it's that side table thing lying around. It looks a bit TARDIS-ish. Uh, but anyway, thanks for your question, Fez Guy, King of Doctor Who. I'll just get down on the line to help out with those precious, precious answers. Greetings. Hey, Darren. A fan of yours has some Ask SP questions. First off, how's Barger doing in space? You chat with him sometimes, don't you? Oh, affirmative. I've managed to set up my very own deep space network using my old antenna. I call it Darren Space Network. It allows me to contact Barjo across the cosmos. And if my calculations are correct, he's due for a visit to Earth soon to stock up on Earth supplies and human friendship and such. I'm sure he'll stop by the GGSP studio next time he's on the planet. Cool. I think we're all keen to hear Barjo's tales from deep space. Uh, what about a Dalek, Darren? Have you ever met one? Oh, affirmative. Loads of them. Well, actually, that reminds me. It's high time I caught up with my old pals and do a bit of noob exterminating. And maybe a bit of knitting. I didn't know you were interested in knitting, Darren. You should have a craft noon sometime. And what about Fez Guy's question about what happens if you join Jojo Mart in Stardew Valley? Uh, well, if you choose to purchase a membership, the community centre will be replaced with a warehouse. After doing this, the community centre bundles will be replaced by community development projects, uh, which you purchase from Morris. I'm not sure I like the sound of that. I've become quite fond of the old community centre. 
Well, the choice is yours. Uh, is that all? Uh, yeah, you know, Fez guy says some other things like, you're superior, all hail Darren, yada, yada, yada. Nothing important. My stars. Well, it sounds like Fez guy has very high intelligence levels. All hail all, Darren. All right, oh. Darren, uh, thanks, bye. Oh. Does not need that for his ego. Now, Fez guy has asked if we could do a mini review of uh, There Is No Game. I think we can manage this without Darren. Uh, do you want to do the honours, Jim? Sure, though it is hard to describe exactly what kind of game There Is No Game actually is. I would say it's definitely absurd and clever with some fun puzzle and lateral thinking elements, the best thing about it, I think, is its sense of humour and the way it plays with your expectations. Plus, it's short and free to play on PC or Android, so easy to just give it a spin and see what you think. I give it 4 out of 5 mini rubber chickens. Yeah, I agree, Gem. It reminds me a little bit of Undertale. Overall, it's a pretty unique idea and an amusing kind of game. Or not game. Oh, uh, yeah. On that note, there is no time left, so if you have a question you'd like us to answer, there's no better way than recording it in video form and sending it through to us. Yeah. So, if we have a TARDIS in the studio, does that mean that we can travel through time and space? Uh, maybe it can do space but not time. Or is that time but not space? It gets very wibbly-wobbly. <laughs>